Welcome to an AFN Korea special report. I'm Katu Surprise with Jun Sang Yoon. I got the chance to sit down with U.S. Ambassador to Korea Kathleen Stevens and U.S. Forces Korea Commander General Walter Sharp during a visit to Pyeongtaek and Camp Humphreys. We discussed the move to Camp Humphreys and the Good Neighbor Program. Why is it important for you to attend this signing, ma'am? Yeah. I, I came here to Pyeongtaek today and to Camp Humphreys today with General Sharp because uh, both of us have been working uh, very hard for the last couple of years, and I know U.S. Uh, US Forces Korea has been working hard, as the embassy has, for several years now on a very important transformation in our relationship, and that is the consolidation of U.S. Forces Korea and this purpose-built uh, facility that's being built uh, here at Camp Humphreys. And a key part of that, of course, is to have the best possible relationship with our Korean hosts. Uh, I see a lot of work being done towards that, but I wanted to come and see it for myself. And uh, General Sharp and, and I talk a lot about it, but we both wanted to come and see it with our own eyes. I think it's also important to point out, you know, that we really do, as a military and the diplomatic side, work hand in hand with each other all across Korea in order to make sure that uh, that we are synchronized. Uh, Ambassador Stevens is able to be out to see a lot with the local politicians and the local governments to be able to do that. Where I work primarily with the military, so we like to go together to do things so that we can see the, what the whole government of Korea is working towards and at the same time to be able to strengthen the alliance both from a military, a people-to-people -people perspective. And sir, why, how important are events like these to the, to the Rocky West Alliance, sir? Well, as you know, my three priorities, you know, two of them are directly, and I, and I would argue even all three of them are directly related to how strong our bonds with the Koreans are. You know, if, if we really had difficult tensions between us and the Republic of Korea people, we would we'd be focusing too much on that and not be preparing to, to fight and to train tonight. You know, the second uh, priority of strengthening the Republic of Korea-U.S. alliance, it's, it's obvious that that is important both from a military to military perspective, but also from a people to people perspective. And then improving the quality of life for all of our service members, civilians, and families and it is directly related to not only what we provide them on our installations, but also the environment in the cities around that we live in, uh, the cities that we visit. We're blessed here in the Republic of Korea to really, truly have the people of Korea uh, really be warm and welcoming to our service members and their families here. It's, it's better than anywhere else that I've ever been stationed. And ma'am, why, 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 why do you think these, import, these events are important to the Rocky West Alliance? Well, I think General Sharp has said it very well. Um, but just to give you an example from today, uh, I, I mentioned earlier I, I thought the lunch was a great event, and it was good because we had peeping pop, which is one of my favorite uh, dishes, uh, Korean or any other kind. But uh, what was really great about it was that the, uh, the room at the... Uh, uh, near the uh, uh, Pyeongtaek University was filled, I think probably half and half, uh, about about a half or almost half uh, U.S. service members and about half uh, Korean students from the university and other leaders from around town. And many of them had been participants in programs, uh, either as interns here at Camp Humphreys in the case of the Korean students, or in the case of the U.S. service members, they had gone through a program uh, managed by the university uh, where they, they learn something about uh, the Korean culture and language and, and, and make some friends and get a little bit settled here. So uh, uh, I mean, to me, that's what, as General Sharp uh, suggested, that's what the relationship is all about. It's clearly important for our military presence here, but it's just important for the overall relationship. Now, I, I might add, just as another example to, to, to illustrate, I think, what General Sharp was talking about and how we, we do different things that we hope complement each other in terms of strengthening the relationship. Um, I came down a little bit earlier this morning, and I went down to a, a, a pear farm uh, just south of here. Now, uh, I don't know how many of, uh, of you, probably most people who are serving Korea, you have this Korean pear at some point. Well, I went down to where actually people are pollinating those pears because it's springtime, and uh, they need some help. It's uh, very labor-intensive, and today is Earth Day. So, uh, so it was a chance to talk with Koreans about how we have to solve environmental challenges together. Uh, but it was also a chance to talk to Korean farmers who are hoping to export uh, more Korean pears to the United States.
And I think that's a, that's a pretty good deal because we look forward to exporting a lot more Korean food and fruit and other products to, uh, to Korea as we move towards a free trade agreement. So for me, it was just a natural thing to do that and then uh, come up here just a few more miles and see how we're expanding uh, our, our presence here over the next few years in a major way uh, and doing it in a way that makes us a part of this community. You know, and one of the, the key things that we've said several times today is that as move, more soldiers and service members move down here to, to Piontech, we want to make sure that that relationship with this community gets even stronger. It's very, very good right now, but with a, just the vast number of service members coming down, this is going to be the key hub for the United States Army and Korea. And we don't want all soldiers to be just stuck on Camp Humphreys. We want them out in the community, understanding the, the great community and the people that are here in the Republic of Korea. That's several years away when we really make the massive move down here, but we've got to start setting the conditions now. And so adding to that, what would you see as the role of Camp Humphreys in South Korea? Uh, the role of Camp Humphreys in South Korea now is a very critical role because of the, the what we have ha housed here, primarily our military intelligence and our, and our aviation. Uh, but in the future, almost all of the Army forces will be here other than the logistics, which are also very important down in Daegu. So this will be the headquarters of you know, U.S. forces, Korea, which at that time will, you know, after 2015 will become Korea Command um, and United Nations Command, the headquarters uh, will be right here. So it will be the command headquarters for Korea with 2nd Infantry Division and all of the other forces that are part of CORCOM at the time there. Um, you know, it, it is this, the other nice thing about this area is it's so close to Osan. So, you will have the, the, the grouping of soldiers and airmen uh, in, in very close proximity to make us even more joint and more joint capable. And ma'am, what would you see as the role of Camp Humphreys in South Korea? Well, uh, I mean, as General Sharp said, clearly it's going to, over the next couple, a few years, go from playing an extremely important role to playing, I think it's fair to say, the central role. It's going to be the heartbeat, you know, the hexheim in Korea and of, uh, uh, of the U.S. military and security presence here. What I also want to see, and I know that uh, General Sharp shares this because we talked about it today, is I want to see Camp Humphreys serve as the model, not just for Korea or for other installations in Korea, but for uh, installations around the world of what the relationship in the 21st century can and should be between our young men and women serving overseas and the local community. And I think we have a chance to create that kind of model relationship here if we're smart about it. We've get, got great partners here in Pyeongtaek, a great opportunity, and I saw a lot of commitment today on all sides, uh, by the city, by the province, uh, by the local command here to really work on that. So uh, that's what we wanted to encourage, and, uh, but I certainly leave encouraged that the work is being done. Do you have anything else that you would like to add? Uh, I, honestly, I'm so proud of our service members down here uh, and all around the peninsula that really are reaching out to the Korean community because it is a great community uh, to help strengthen this alliance on a personal to personal basis. So many young soldiers, airmen, sailors that make it their business to help personally strengthen this command, strengthen the alliance and just like to really thank them for that hard work. Well, I, I certainly also want to thank uh, all the servicemen and women uh, in, in Korea uh, who, uh, who work so hard not just to do their jobs but to build relationships, build lasting relationships. And I would just say on a personal note, you know, I, I first came to Korea more than 35 years ago uh, as a young woman. I wasn't uh, uh, in the military. I was a Peace Corps volunteer, but I lived for two years not very far from here. Uh, in, a, in a small town, in a very different Korea, but it had a big impact on my life. And I think one, that, one thing that hasn't changed, obviously Korea has changed a great deal, but one thing that has not changed about Korea, and I hear from our service people all the time, is the hospitality, the warmth of the Korean people. And just as I felt that so much 35 years ago and had such a, an important and positive influence on me and my profession, you know, I hope that uh, young men and women coming here today for a posting will, as General Sharp says, uh, says, says uh, 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 seek that out. It's very enriching, you know, and it's one of those things, if you try to give, you'll just get more back. And uh, so seek that out is my advice. Thank you for joining us today, General Sharp and Ambassador Stevens. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The estimated move to Camp Humphreys will take place in 2015. 
This was an AFN Korea special report. I'm Katusa Pirate, Jun Sang-yoon.